Hello, I'm David Denton. Welcome to this review of Linda Wayne's Pro Color Artist Acrylics. These are the paints that I've been using for about five years now for my paintings, so I think I've given them enough of a test so that I can give you a good review. So here we go. I've tried a variety of media when creating art, gouache, watercolour, pastels, coloured pencils, acrylics and digital media too. Each has pros and cons, for example gouache is opaque but using thin washers will spoil the layers below. Acrylics can be used in this way but many coats are often needed to create the desired opacity. And digital media, while being infinitely flexible, is a bit of a nightmare for the perfectionist. Oh, I'll just go back and fix that. Oh, and that bit, and what about that bit, etc, etc. And also, digital media lacks that indefinable something that only comes from putting brush to canvas. Maybe sometime soon I'll have a go at using oils, but at the moment I'm painting with Linda Wayne's Pro Colour Artist Acrylics. These paints are manufactured in the UK and are only available through the Pro Colour website. They are a form of acrylic paint, but behave a little bit differently. The best way to describe these paints is an acrylic gouache. They have the opacity and covering power of gouache, but washers can be added without destroying previous layers. They are similar in a way to digital media, in that art can be created in many layers of varying opacities. Another advantage is that they can be used as watercolours. They are very flexible. Let's look at the strengths first with some examples, and then we'll tackle any weaknesses. When I painted the background of Descent from Mobius Wood, I used Pro Colour as watercolour paints. I wet my illustration board first with clean water and then worked wet on wet to produce blurred trees. The paint blooms and spreads out just like watercolours. This technique helped me create a sense of depth and a morning mist. Paintings can also be created entirely using thin washes of paint. I like to use a variety of techniques though. The background landscape of Welcome was painted using thick paint in a gouache fashion, although I put some thin washes over the top to modify the colours and add movement and interest. But when it came to the translucent cloak, I swapped to using the paints as watercolour to create the translucent effect. To see this in more detail, I've done a separate video of this and I'll put a link in the description below and a little card somewhere on the screen. The Insidious Whisper saw me use even more techniques. The skin texture was created by first painting on thick layers to achieve a base colour. I then used dry brushing to add to the texture. To do this I picked up some paint on a very dry brush, then I brushed it all off on a rag. Then when brushing across the surface of the painting, with this very very dry brush, I created a fine dusting effect. This could be modified by the consistency of the original paint. After this dry brushing I applied a number of dilute washes of paint to add to the depth and create interest again. Building the skin texture up in layers led to a beautiful final finish. Ok, the subject matter may not quite be so beautiful, but the effect was. In Skin the Shine of the Rain I took this technique further and after applying a wash I sprinkled salt onto the area and when the wash dried and the salt was brushed off an interesting texture is left where the salt granules have sucked up small areas of the paint. Again, Pro Colour is really flexible. They're also very forgiving paints and as such are ideal for beginners. If a mistake is made it's very easy to paint over due to the opacity of the paints. Areas of colours can be built up using many thin washers until the desired colour is reached. This makes colour mixing a slightly less painful experience for beginners. The pots of paint are quite small at 59ml, but they do last a long time. The only colour that I often need to replace is white. There's a wide range of colours available along with mediums such as a retarder and a flow improver. And although it's not available on the Pro Colour site, I have used art masking fluid with these paints and it works just fine. Lots of positives then, so what are the downsides? Firstly, although the pots last a long time, it could get quite expensive to create very large pieces of art. The paintings that I've shown you so far are all about 30cm by 70cm and all been painted with just six different colours of paint. But in the past I've created huge pieces that are about 2 metres square and I dread to think how much that would have cost if I'd used Pro Colour. I think that if you were going for something very large then standard acrylics would probably be a better option. I may be being a tad picky with this one, but I think it's worth mentioning. I've found that when applying thin washes of the darker colours, they can easily begin to muddy up the existing layers rather than darken them. 
The finish also seems to be slightly different to the rest of the painting when these washes are used. This gave me some real problems when I was painting the dark trees in December from Mobius Wood, and in the end I had to work around the issue and mix the correct colour the first time. I was able to apply washes of cadmium red, yellow ochre etc, but I stayed well away from the darker colours like sepia and Prussian blue. It's a problem that will probably never crop up for most people though, as multiple layers of most colours can be added without this muddy in effect. The last issue I've come up against is that even when using the retarder medium, thick paint can dry and become unworkable pretty quickly. This is made even worse on warm days. I found this to be a big problem when trying to blend areas of colour together smoothly. Maybe I need to swap to oil paints when I need to use this technique a lot. Overall I'm incredibly impressed by these paints. They take the best features of acrylics, gouache and watercolour and fuse them together into one little pot. It's very flexible, it can be used for many techniques and is great for beginners. There are some minor problems that I've mentioned before, but for the majority of users, they'll never be an issue. Bear in mind that I'm ordering these paints from the UK from a UK website, so I don't have to pay huge amounts of shipping. But if you're ordering from elsewhere, just remember that you are going to have to pay a lot of shipping, so that will make these paints considerably more expensive. But I initially bought just three primary colours and white, so it is relatively inexpensive to get started and give them a go. They're very enjoyable paints to use, and I highly recommend them.